with our first pick in the 2014 entry draft, the Philadelphia Flyers select from Calgary of the Western Hockey League, Travis Sanheim. the boards. Here comes LaBelle. LaBelle screw it center over the line. He'll drop it for Carter Hobbs. Hobbs pulls as he tries to make a turn. Now Greg Chase down the right side. Two and one. Chase moves in. Here's Chase getting it right out of front and they score the Calgary Hitman. Carter Hobbs fell. That allowed the Hitman to have uh, an extra man attack and they were able to capitalize on it. They to try and poke check the puck, and it turns into an odd man uh, rush there, and they make no mistake. Sanheim jumping up in the play and scores a great goal. So let's see, Calgary Hitman getting the first goal of this hockey game, Travis Sanheim. And up is Zane Jones with a shot hit. Ben Thomason goes in behind the net. Travis Sanheim will jump on it for Calgary. Shots 3 0 Hitman, 1 0 Calgary on the scoreboard. And the Hitman off the ice on a 2 on 1. Greg Chase with Helgus and Chase the pass to the trailer. Sanheim scores! Travis Sanheim jumping up, and it's 2 0 Calgary. A good looking play there, Brad, and Sanheim moving his feet tonight. Like you see, when these guys come back from camps, They've outshot the Hurricanes 12-6. Cal Babich has the puck in the offensive zone for Calgary. Blue line to Travis Sanheim. Wrist shot. Scores! Second of the day for Travis Sanheim. So the Pats had all the momentum for the first five minutes of the second period. We'll see what happens here. Hitman. Score! That's what happens! Travis Sanheim, a face-off win that he wires into the top corner. The red light is flashing. It's 1-0 Calgary around a little bit. I would suggest that helped them. Calgary coming in here. Taylor Sanheim on a possible three-on-one center to shut scores! Taylor to Travis! It's Sanheim's everywhere! And it's 3 nothing Calgary! Blocked by Paul and Chuck. Red Deer does that well. They did a lot of that last night. Travis Sanheim out of the corner. Had a block out of back. Stick handle into the side. The shot saved by Toth. Rebound. Toth can't find it. They score! Hitman find it! Turn on the red light. Calgary Big time ugly, but Sanheim undresses two Red Dale Rebels right between the circles, and they both go for the fake deke shot. Toad drags, shoots it, it goes up in the air. Toth doesn't see it. He's a no Toth has no idea where it is. And I think it was Helgeson that bangs it in at the last second right on the goal mouth. You gotta hand it to the referee. He did not blow the whistle too soon, Brad. He went behind the net, he stayed with it now. Drive, save, Berman, rebound. Calgary in the corner. Fast layup, slot. Here's Travis Sanheim. Toe drag scores! 6-2 Calgary for Travis Sanheim. It's his eighth of the season. Adam Tambellini. Stick checked by a Lang, but not out. Fast layup will play it to the high slot. Travis Sanheim. Shot scores! Ninth of the year for Travis Sanheim. And the Philadelphia Flyers prospect has tied the game for Calgary. It's 1-1. Well, Sandheim gets a pass by Fizileyev, and he walks in the middle between the circles, fakes once, fakes twice. Everybody kind of flinches a little bit, and then he just kind of walks in slowly, one mile an hour, and just wrists it the far side. Big screen in front, because you got Kanzik, all six foot six, right in front of the net. You couldn't see nothing. Goaltender had no idea where that puck was going. Kanzik does not get an assist. Layup of the rank and on a two-on-three, Fazlayev stepped by one of the men, Rigby, who had broken his stick, waits for help. Down the trailer, Travis Sanheim jumped in off the left point, down to the faceoff dot, shot, scores! Travis Sanheim rips it by Bo, and he's tied the game at four for Calgary. Short-handed, and the fans, now they're happy. Hitmen get themselves back in this game, tied at four on a shorty. It's now a three-game goal-scoring streak for the first-round draft pick of the Philadelphia Flyers. And what a beautiful delay by Fazlayev. Sanheim doesn't take the shot from the left point, Ken. He's got a lot of confidence right now. He skates, beats a Broncos defender, and from the left-wing face-off circle, rips one into the top corner on the far side. That was like a 50-goal score. 
It's tipped in front. Loose puck, Calgary. Peterson back to the blue line to Bean. Lateral feed, left point, Travis Sandheim. Step around to check down to the faceoff. Dot shot! Pad stack, save, rebound! And Karnikov can't wrap it around. He didn't want to take the extra step to come around the goal post because there was traffic there. Couldn't jam it in. Now Travis Sandheim to the left point. Back door kicked by Stallard. It wouldn't have counted. It hit the outside of the net anyway. Puck into the corner. Moose Jaw on their heels now. It's been a pressure game, as you allude to, Ken, and now it's Calgary's turn. Karnikov to Sandheim, backhander in the slot. There's a stick save made by the goaltender. What a play by Sandheim. It was a miserable pass, but he moved it from his skate to his stick beautifully. He's got it again off the left wing, got short side, hit the bar as he tucked it over top of Sawchenko, and the rebound is cleared down the ice. I Knocked down by Torinsky. Red Deer doing a lot of rink-wide feeds on their power play. In Calgary, it's like they're in their playbook. They picked off a few, and they read another one. Travis Sanheim in short-handed slot. Rankin scores! One-time shot goes Cage. Turn on the red light. Calgary's tied it. It's 1-1. Ambellini over the line. Drop pass. Far too much on it. and It's by Bean and out at center ice. Calgary's got to regroup. Travis Sanheim on the pass from Jake Bean. Looks up the middle. He'll meander into the Cougar zone, wait for two Cougars to flush on him. He'll drag it now down into the corner, curl away from trouble, and set it up on the perimeter. Travis Sanheim up high to Jake Bean. Left circle, it's Adam Tambellini over to Travis Sanheim. Right circle in front, scores! Kenton Helgeson with a tip in front. Turn on the red light. It's one up in Calgary. 196, so he's not, uh, he's probably built way better than you. There's no question about that. <laughs> Off the draw. Calgary, the puck. Thomas, a wrist shot left circle, and he missed the net with it. Rebound, Calgary. Karnikov, blue line. Travis Sanheim, shooting, scores! Travis Sanheim with a screen shot from the line, and it's 2 nothing Calgary. Well, Edmonds must have had a screen on this one, Brad, because he really doesn't move on it. He has that look after, but Sanheim walks in, gets his 11th goal, and a hard snap shot. Let's just see if we can see the screen here. Travis walks in, the wrist shot, screen on that guy, and you got Lang in front of the net. Lang may not get an assist, but he was right in front for the screen. You're right. Edmonds didn't react till it was by him. And for Travis Sanheim, the element of surprise sometimes is just as good as a hard shot. And the shot went wide into the corner. And there's Jake Vertanen. Vertanen, the long goal tonight. The Vancouver Canuck first rounder to the blue line over Sanheim. He'll look in. Sanheim will skate to it. He'll take back on the goal, trying to get away from Gatenby. Sanheim in the right corner, still with it there. Blue line, here's Bertan and a shot blocked by Merkley. That gathered up here by Sanheim. Rockets chasing the puck right now. Sanheim with it. Skates back towards the blue line. He'll look in. Trying to get away from Tyrell Goldberg. Nice play by Sanheim. Side shot! Bertan and how did he miss that side of the net? It was a wide open cage and he worked it high and wide. Rockets, they've fresh legs out there. They're dead tired. Picked up here. Can't they score? It's Helgeson on the feed from Vasilev. How many times has lifted it up? Sanheim works in, fronted by Kulda. End of a long kill here for the Kings. 20 to go in it. It's all been spent inside their zone. And Sanheim snaps a wrist shot. Scores! Travis Sanheim able to find the hole through the screen. It's 2-1 Calgary. Well, and uh, the Calgary Hitman just taking a page out of the Boston Bruins uh, power play playbook. Sticking, the, instead of big Zdeno Chara, they just plant Keegan Kanzig in front of the net. He's a tough guy to move out. The Old Kings aren't even trying to move him out of the net, or out of the uh, the front of the net. And Sanheim throws it at the, at the goal. He gets past it, Kanzig, and the two Oil Kings that were in the Red Deer end to the right corner. Maher appeals it off his stick, but the loose puck goes to Rankin. Now five on five. Coincidental's done. Rankin jams in front of the goal. Sandheim scores! Travis Sandheim goes to the front of the net. He puts it by Ryland Toth on the stick side. It's one nothing Calgary. You now the play gets in behind the net. Rankin, he just kind of throws it up front here. And eventually it looked like he was just kicked to Sandheim, who then pushed it up to his stick with his foot and eventually was able to slide it in the far side corner. Toth had made sure the short side was taken care of, but we got one, two, three, four, five guys in around that crease area. Sanheim was able to find the puck, and the Calgary Hitman opened the scoring camp, their first uh, their first goal on their 11th shot. The Philadelphia Flyer first round pick, Travis Sanheim, gets his 13th goal of the year.
me that's why he's now going to be a pro. And from the back, Travis Sanheim, 62 points for the first round pick of the Philadelphia Flyers. I'm guessing you'd uh, call this one of the league's elite? Without a question about it. This is a real good feel-good story about the way he started last year as a 17-year-old rookie. His first half of the year, he had two assists. He was a plus six, respectable. But he got more added ice time and played bigger minutes. He had 29 points and a plus 19 to end the season, a point a game in the playoffs. And he just did nothing but get better. So good that he got picked 17th overall by the Philadelphia Flyers. This guy is for real. Tied for the league lead with those 62 points among defensemen. Go down that road in this game. I'll tell you who won't be happy if it happens is the Tigers. Two on one develops in this four on four. Sanheim, Poland Dragon scores! After the far corner. Again, Lischinski works on him. Stallard again out with a puck to the blue line. Here's Travis Sanheim. Hard shot scores! A bomb from the back end gives Calgary the lead. Travis Sanheim, and it's 3 2 Hitman. Over 2 and got. A lot of pressure and just some bad luck around the net. So Helgeson's penalty is done. Five on five skaters. Calgary a two on one. A breakaway pass. They score. Defenseman Sanheim scores on a breakaway. And Calgary leads by two again. It's five to three. Sanheim goes right into the seam. Nobody's with, nobody's with him. And he makes a nice move on Hoffman. you got to give him credit. And goes back to Morrison, right blue line. Now to Vertan on top of the right circle. Wrist shot, pass save, open it on the rebound. Sanheim scores. Another rebound goal, and Calgary leads 2 0 here in game number four. Four on four has definitely opened up the ice here. Calgary back in, and 43 seconds left on the four on four. Fazlayev hit the fresh legs, ranking down low, shot scores. Turn on. And it's 12 of them. Than that Helgeson in pursuit got knocked over by Lewington. Loose puck. Calgary Tambellini in pursuit. Diving able to keep it in as he got it out to the blue line to Travis Sanheim. His shot scores! Third point of the game for number 32. Goal and an assist for Travis Sanheim. And it's 4-2 Calgary. Calgary did the cycle around and around and around she goes. Finally has to come back to Sanheim. Toe drags it to the middle. A wrist shot puts it right in the top corner. Sanheim saw some open daylight. He's looking, he's looking. That just wasn't a shot in the dark. Icing at the Tigers. You know, D zone draw for Medicine Hat. Trying to force game six back in Medicine Hat on Sunday. Boy. Shots right now. 57 Calgary. 55 Tigers. Tigers had a great chance there but missed the net. That puck bounces up, hits Zip. Him and Peterson can't find it. Sanford finds it all right. Turns it into a great chance, and Aure rips it. Karnikoff on this offensive zone draw for Calgary against Matt Staple. Sticks are down. Karnikoff won it to the boards. Travis Sanheim on the puck. Rochet scores! Sanheim scores! Travis Sanheim! Travis Sanheim! to get it done but at the end of the day it's a wrist shot from Travis Sanheim that finds the back of the net and the Calgary Hitmen have eliminated the Medicine Hat Tigers and they are moving on to the Eastern Conference Final where they will face the Brandon Wheat Kings and Travis Sanheim and the Hitmen a jubilant bunch down there on ice level Ken there's nothing like an overtime win to get you all fired up, but an overtime win to win a series and in double overtime doesn't get any better. Here's nope. the call. To Travis Sanai. This is the number nine, Pavel Karnikov. Time of the goal, seven minutes, 45 seconds of overtime. Sanai.
This is the playoffs from Carnegie at 745. And now the traditional handshake. And let's just spend a moment talking about this guy, Travis Sanheim, who scored the double OT winner that propelled the Hitman into the conference final. Now, he's a Philadelphia Flyers first-round pick, but if you go all the way back to the Bantam draft, for some reason, he was a ninth-round, 177th overall in that draft. How did that happen? Well, back then, he was an average skater. He didn't separate himself from others on his team, and he was too small. In fact, he played two years of midget hockey. Well, how do you think the 6'3", blue liner, looks now? He led all Western Hockey League defensemen in scoring in the season. Here's the overtime winner. He leads all Western Hockey League defensemen in scoring in the playoffs. The batting draft is usually accurate, Dan. Every once in a while, they don't, and they get it wrong. They did with Travis Sanheim.